Hello everybody and welcome back to another mini structures video. It's been a while, but today we're going to be building up the tiny jungle temple, and then we'll talk about the actual jungle temple structure. So let's get started by looking at the tiny jungle temple. So here it is, the tiny temple. Let's take a quick look at the outside. You can see we got some windows going in. We got these little prongs on top. It's all looking pretty good. But here's something that I really like. If you go to the front and you squat down, you could actually make it inside. And so I added this little staircase that goes up like this. But what you could even do is add a staircase that goes down and have your own little mini traps down there and everything. But I wanted to keep it in a pretty small area. So I didn't do that, but that would be pretty fun to try out. So I guess we could get on to building it, and this one is pretty complicated, mostly because there's just so many cobblestone bits, it's hard to tell what's going on. But let's go take a look at the materials we're going to need. So what we're going to need is some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone with some of their variants. So for just cobblestone, we're going to need 74. For cobblestone slabs, we're going to need 25. For walls, it's going to be 4. And stairs, it's going to be 21. And for mossy cobblestone, it's going to be 22 with 2 slabs, 4 walls, and 5 stairs. And now the build space for the little structure is a 7 by 6 rectangle, and it's also going to be 6 blocks tall. So for this one, I'm going to grab all the materials, and then we're going to build it both block by block and layer by layer. So we're going to work on the first layer, get that all finished up, and then the second. And for each one of those, I'll show a little diagram of what we're doing. And then at the end, I'll show all the layers again, if you like building it that way best. So for layer one, here's what you're going to need, and this is a pretty simple foundation layer. So we're going to be building this with this right here as the front, so we could keep that in mind. And so we're going to start with this back corner, and we're just going to add in our mossy cobblestone. And you definitely don't need to follow this mossy cobblestone pattern, but it's just what I did on the other one. So you have that go there, these two, three here, and then we need two more, one there, and one there. And that fills in all of our mossy cobblestone. Now what we're going to do is just fill in the rest of the space with just cobblestone and we're leaving this front section right here open, just that one block line. Fill in the rest of this. And then once that's all filled in, you want to place one stair right in the middle with three blocks of space on either side. Then you go at this angle, place in the second one, and then place in your third one so you get a staircase that angles in towards the middle. And now for layer 2, it's getting a bit more complicated, but we're going to start out the front by placing in a mossy stair in that direction, and then we're going to place a cobblestone one behind it so we get this little thing like this. Then we're going to go and do the same thing on the other side with two just cobblestone stairs, like that, leaving this one block open again. And then we're going to go around the outer edge, so we're going to place in a mossy slab, then two normal slabs, then another mossy slab, and then three more normal slabs, and then right here is actually going to go a stair, and this is just kind of part of the ruining to keep it from being symmetric. And then we're going to add in three more slabs in this space. And now we're going to build up the inside wall by placing in cobblestone all the way along this. Except for this one corner, we're going to place in our one mossy cobblestone. And then we could finish it off by adding in two more. And now we just have two more slabs to place in that go here and here. Moving on to layer 3, we're going to start off by placing in a cobblestone above this mossy one, and then above this corner, this corner, and this corner. So we have a one block space here, but a three block space here, so that's all looking good. Now what we're going to do is place in stairs off of these cobblestone blocks. So we're going to place in one pointing frontwards, one to the side, another one to the side, one to the back, to the back again, one to the other side, to the other side, and one to the front. So each of these create this little L of cobblestone stairs. And now I'm going to place in the rest of our cobblestone so we have one on this side in between those stairs and then we have some in the back and now we can move on to our mossy cobblestone which is going to go in the front like this. 
We're also going to have one in the back and between the two cobblestone and one on this side. And our final block to finish up this weird ring is going to be a slab which is going to go in between these two mossy ones and it's going to go on the top half. For layer 4 I'm going to start off by placing an all for mossy cobblestone. So we're going to put one above this mossy cobblestone, one next to this mossy cobblestone, then one in the back here, and one on this corner. So we get this formation. And now I'm going to do this mumbo mustache looking line which starts here, goes past the mossy cobblestone, and ends up on this side. And so I'm going to skip this and do the same thing on this side, but this time we're also going to skip this middle one above the mossy cobblestone. And now we have those two mumbo mustache looking things. Now we can place in our four walls, so we're going to place a mossy one in this corner as well as its opposite corner. And then in the two remaining spaces, we're going to place in two walls like this. And now all we have left to do is place in six slabs, which are going to go in between this space, next to the window, and then there's going to be one here, and one here, creating this little triangle. Then we're going to mirror that on the other side, so one in between the window, and then two here, and that creates our concaved roof. And for layer 5, we're going to seal up the roof, so let's start that off by placing in our two mossy cobblestone again. So we're going to place one here, then one on the back side, right there, and that's everything for the mossy cobblestone. Now what we're going to do is create this diamond shape with the rest of our cobblestone. So it's going to go like this, with this pyramid, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So we're just going to carry that over, all the way to right here. So we're leaving the blocks next to the walls open, and then three here, one there. And so now we have this weird long diamond shaped thing, and now what we're going to do is place in stairs to round off the edge. So we're going to place in a cobblestone stair like that, and we want to place it in this orientation. Another cobblestone stair here, then on the back we're going to place in a mossy one, a cobblestone, and we're going to keep going with it by placing in another mossy, another cobblestone one, and then right here is going to be another mossy, another cobblestone. And that finishes off the fifth layer. And here goes our final layer, I'm going to place a cobblestone right in the middle, and off of that we're going to place in a cobblestone stair on that side, and we're almost going to create this little dinner table by placing in a mossy one on this side, and now what we're going to do is encase the dinner table in slabs, so there's three there, one, three more, and another one, and now all we have left is just our walls, so we're going to place one in the back corner with mossy, one in the front corner there, and then just fill in the remaining space. And there it is all wrapped up in its rounded gloriness. And I just want to apologize in case I said mossy or cobblestone or, or anything an obnoxious amount of times. So there we go, a tiny little jungle temple that you could even go inside and even add in traps and all that. We have some windows to peek out of too, and it's all looking pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is just show all the layers back to back in case you wanted to see that, or just to check if you missed anything, or just whatever. I saw this sheep climbing up the vines of this tree. So now with the mini structure all built up, what I'm going to do is just talk about the actual jungle structure, which I didn't even know but I realized while recording, we just have one right over here. So I'm just going to go through where you could find this, what you could find in the chest, and just everything like that. So after looking into it a bit more, there's really not too much to say about the jungle temple, or it actually got changed to the jungle pyramid, that's its official name right now. But it's pretty much just a little mossy cobblestone and cobblestone structure that you could find in the jungle, jungle hills, bamboo jungle, or the bamboo jungle hills. So there's a little entrance right here, and you're immediately met with this tiny little room with not really anything in it. There's a little window back here, and you also have two staircases, and one of them goes upwards to a little area without really much in it, and the other one goes down to quite a few goodies. So one of the things is a puzzle with three levers, so to open it all you need to do is flick all three of the levers down, then you need to flick the first one up, and the third one up, and now the door right above it will be open, right here, and you need to be careful while dropping down into this because mobs could spawn in here like a creeper and that would be pretty dangerous, but inside here is a little chest, oh and this one is pretty rubbish, 
but inside this chest you could find all these items that I'll have up on the screen, with some of the more valuable being enchanted books, horse armor, saddles, and I guess gold is pretty useful if you're in a speedrun. But now leaving the levers, the other side leads us to a hallway, and with the night vision it's pretty easy to see but there's a dispenser at the end of the hallway, and in this row right here is a tripwire, so if you step on the tripwire, an arrow will shoot, so one easy way to avoid it is just to walk on this side, and the dispenser will usually miss you. There is a bit of randomness when it fires, so it can sometimes stray off to that side, so that's something to be careful of. But you can see the redstone fort right here, it goes from that tripwire hook over to the dispenser, and these dispensers only have anywhere from 2 to 7 arrows in them. And then on this side there's another tripwire hook right next to this chest, with the dispenser right above it, and you don't even need to step over this one, you can just reach the chest. So here's a better example of what could be inside these jungle temples, but with this chest found, that's pretty much it. So now just when leaving the area, make sure to walk on this side again, and you'll usually dodge the arrow, and it looks like we actually got hit this time even though we walked around it, so that's a little strange, or maybe, I'm not too sure. So that's pretty much it for the little jungle temple, I really like the redstone thing, and especially this puzzle, for how simple it is, it's so confusing to try to solve, and I really quite like it, but there's really nothing too valuable about it, it's just one of the old, really iconic Minecraft structures. So that's going to be it for the video, it was a lot of fun, I want to thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.